all those people there going through the same anticipation. It's a long, long way to go, but you know, the adrenaline's taking over, the atmosphere builds, and then off you go. Yeah, it's been a big part of the last few months thinking about that. Getting into UTMB is not an easy process in terms of qualifying in the first place. That sent me on a journey last year. And then in the start of January, this email came through into my inbox saying, congratulations. So to get a place was a, um, a most welcome surprise. In the same day, you start going from, oh yes, I'm in, to, whoa, hang on, that's a long way, and uh, scary. <laughs> A portmanteau of globalization and localization is business. The whole UTMB project attitude. was born from a charity run that I did with some students from my school. There were two students in particular. That's a whole company was founded on a beef burger. <laughs> Saying, hey sir, have you ever thought about doing an ultra marathon? I said, oh, that's a long way, I've never really run that. But you should go, you should do it, sir. You're fit enough. Okay, maybe there's something in this. Something like running an ultra, for me, it's a three-part aspect to it. One, perhaps, is the gear and getting that right and knowing the equipment and how to get the most from it. It's fair to say that I am a gear and a tech freak, and that comes from the different sports that I've done. Probably cycling is the sport I've thrown the most amount of money at. And then coming to running, I found myself entering a sport that was financially more accessible. Then there's the training, making sure you're doing the specific training, structuring it properly, not wasting your time and your miles and, and doing it properly. And then the third part of that is nutrition. Um, and you read a lot of running books of people that are vegan and eating raw, and, uh, and that's never been my strong point. Yeah, nutrition is my Achilles heel. The mistake is first is to uh, don't eat and drink enough it's very, very important. You will run so many hours, so don't forget to eat uh, salt and sugar. You can mix, it's very, very important. Take enough water with you. Hydration system is very important. Uh, if you want to take flask or reservoir, yeah, take enough water. I've never had a coach for running, so I took my knowledge from cycling and the things that I knew worked and the things that I knew didn't, and I tried to transfer them across to running. So, yeah, this is for me all new. Uh, there's a whole new layer of training, a whole new depth of reserves I'm going to have to dig into here, and that's what pushes me on. I'm 37 now. And the thing I'm most worried about in training, having had an experience last year, is injury. Before I go to bed, I stand on one leg on a minute each side, at least with my eyes shut, just to improve my ankle stability. Just little things like that. You've got to try and do the things you can do. It's definitely changed bits of my life ultra running, yeah, because you'll never find time for anything in life, you have to make time. It is sometimes hard to balance family, life and work at the busy times, it's uh, definitely tough. With UTMB, I'm worried, you know, for me it's a big, big goal. I can look across the Rhone Valley and I can see the Mont Blanc Massif, and so every day it is a reminder of what I've let myself in for. Something like UTMB, I've never done that before, so it's, it's the great unknown, yeah. Where will it take me? <laughs>